What's up, guys? Welcome to the Last Days of Warcast. We are sitting California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Danny. And I'm Melting Feats and Beats. <laughs> Rob couldn't be here this week. He's getting about a foot and a half removed from his shin, so he can finally be the right height. Uh, so hopefully, you know, quick recovery for that guy. So, <laughs> Danny, how you doing, man? I'm good, dude. Just hanging out. Just, you just know? hanging out. Just uh, working on stuff. Getting stuff ready for some uh, upcoming shows we got, you know, dealing with uh, tracks and putting stuff. Yeah, together. I'm, I'm excited, man. We're getting, we're starting to get to that fun, that fun hour. You know what I mean? It's starting to, starting to feel real again. Starting to feel, starting to feel these shows coming on very quickly. But uh, what about, what about you, yeah. Josh? How you doing, buddy? Oh, oh, other than melting my ass off over here because my AC went out at my house, I'm doing all right. Um, it's making me miss Dude. Danny's house right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> AC like. His house is like a ice box compared to everywhere else. Yeah. But I'm doing okay. Yeah. Uh, kept busy. I was over at Danny's the other night shooting some stuff for an upcoming video we got coming out. So we're keeping busy. That's what's up. Yeah. Speaking of uh, things coming out and things that are already out, thank you guys so much for the feedback that we've been getting back for Little Karma so far. Everybody seems to love it. Um, yeah. Just all around fantastic feedback as far as like comments from people on TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. Uh, keep listening, keep streaming, keep sharing. All that stuff helps. We appreciate it very much. Uh, I personally, I feel that this is one of our, like, I don't know. I feel like our sound just keeps getting honed in with every new release that we do. Like as far as like, just like the, I guess like the bigness of the sound of our music. You know what I mean? Like everything just sounds grand and epic. And I, I just, I love that shit, man. And uh, people tend to, <clears throat> to say that to us like dude it sounds huge like it just you know so that's really cool i i um i'm excited for same to come out guys friday the 13th next month so yeah, yes yeah different. and speaking of that we've been like josh was saying we've been shooting some video stuff for that that's been really fun uh i i like the concept we have what we're going with it as far as like the different types of angles that we shot um I wasn't too sure. I wasn't too sure about the the super close up one that you told me to do, Danny. Remember, I was like, "This feels weird. I don't know about this." But uh, yeah, it should be good, man. I'm looking forward to. Uh, Dustin's been uh, kind of putting that together right now, and he's taking the time to green screen Danny being at some party yesterday. <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's it's gonna come out really cool. Like for me, it's 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 different. This is the first music video that I've been a part of where we're having some fun with the green screen. Mm. Uh, I'm getting multiple shots of actual playing of the drums, not just one shot full on like your generic video. We're gonna have some different angles. You guys are gonna get to see. Yeah. So it'll be different. Yeah, it'll be different, and you know, in the spirit of us, like we. We try to do things seriously, but at at the same time, not taking ourselves too seriously. We kind of have we try to have fun with it. We try to give a little bit of ourselves, our personality in that thing. So uh, it's it, it'll be cool to see, man. I can't wait for the finished product. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something about. No, yeah. When when <laughs> when Dustin sent that video. So it, what do you guys know? What movie that was from? I, I'm not even sure no, what movie I've it was never from. Seen that. I just know John Cena was in it. Like at the, at the end of it. I saw that. And uh, I was like, oh, this is really funny. I should post this on TikTok. And then I rewatched the video and realized that there was straight up like butt chugging beer <laughs> in that video. And I'm like, yeah. I don't think I can put that on TikTok, man. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that at all. <laughs> that was the first thing I saw when I woke up this morning was that video. <laughs> I saw it in the middle of the night when he sent it because I was at work. I was just like, I was like, oh man, yeah. Good stuff. So, Danny, I want to talk a little bit about these Olympic games that have been going on. I have, I, I'll be honest, I never really watched the Olympics, but every once in a while, something will go so viral you just can't avoid it. Last week, it was the dude's wiener hitting the pole. Um, by the way, <laughs> apparently he was offered like two hundred thousand dollars to do like porn. Like he, he was, he was offered like a whole lot of money to do like some porn. I don't know if he accepted it. I mean, if I was the guy, I probably would. That sounds like an easy bag, right? Sounds like an easy, easy two hundred grand. But uh, <laughs> somebody's offering you two hundred grand to do a porn like that. That you doing it, Danny? 
And I gotta bang my pole against the pole. <laughs> oh oh man. man, that 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 goes great with uh, another story that Danny told me about. And we'll just Uh-oh. leave it alone, but we know exactly what it is. <laughs> with the uh, some squashing of some stuff. <laughs> Oh man, that'll be a Patreon episode. Oh, des- most definitely. Right. Um, what was I gonna say was so this week. Hey, you know what? You know what you you know what you forgot to say, bro. Yeah. Shots, we, my we bad, dude. Chugging. We already checked. My bad. Shots. Rob's gonna be pissed, dude. I'm sorry, Rob. Sorry, Rob. Oh, sorry, man. man. Just wait. He's probably sitting there holding onto his shot glass the whole time with half his legs there, just waiting to take it. Just wait. Here you go, Rob. Here it is. Cheers. Well, in case Rob knows or needs to know, he's always in our heads. Like, even filming some stuff, we took one take of stuff I was doing, and then right away, you know, Rob's going to say this about that shot. <laughs> you know, we got it, now we got to do this already. Like, I can fucking hear him saying, really, bro? That's what you were doing? <laughs> no, it was funny because Josh, Josh was doing something. We got about two minutes into a take on it, and I was about to stop him. And then I remembered what the song was about, and I was like, "You know what? I'm just gonna let this." Just gonna let it go. <laughs> and then when he stopped, I was like, "Hey, now do one without, just in case Rob goes, hey, what are you doing with this?'" You know, so. Yeah. It's either gonna yeah. be a genius idea, or we were smart to cover our ass with the second tape. <laughs> and got the other so tape. Yeah. Like, Let's just do this now, so we don't have to film it again later. You know, and and, yeah. and that that that's kind of like a a theme of just us in general, even when it comes to like making music, like when we make our music and we'll just do something and be like, let's just see where it goes. And then let's do another take just in case. And then we can always, and then we have options. That's one of your classic. Well, there's classic been times you've written, we've written a song and there's another version of it sitting in the yeah. folder. And that's because one night we were like, Hey, what if we do this with the song and either we went to it or we didn't, yeah. you know? So yeah, we do that. Random question, Daddy. Were you able to figure out the name for Remain Untamed, the the original file, or no? No. Whatever I that. said it was last week, I think I said it. The, the original file name was Finley. Yeah. It's it no. wasn't Finley. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. I'll, I'll double check. I'll have it. I'll get an answer for us next week. Which, by the way, guys, you might be wondering what the hell we're talking about. We have an exclusive Patreon that uh, you guys can subscribe to where we've been going back for each one of our songs and talking about like the creating of it and, you know, just a lot of the the behind the scenes of how it got started and the lyrics and what things mean and what the song means to us. And it's really cool. What we're up to remain untamed. What are we like? Six, six in maybe five or six, something like that. I think it's, I think it's six. I have to say on one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're finally getting to the good stuff to where Josh has finally been a part of everything. So it's like, Josh is like, I'm just going to sit here, guys. <laughs> so, listening to the conversation. You can ask me. You can ask me how I feel when we play it live, but that's pretty much it because I have nothing to do with it. Yeah. That. But yeah, guys, just, so, just a quick Patreon plug. It's only three bucks a month. It helps the band out tremendously. Even if you guys just subscribe for a month and want to binge watch it all, it'll do. It goes a long way for the band. You know what I mean. So, but yeah. So, Danny, back to the Olympics. There was this viral thing going around of the Australian woman from Australia, <laughs> the Australian woman from Australia, break dancing. Yes. Yeah, uh, break dancing, and yeah. oh my gosh, dude, I've seen some pretty horrible break dancing in my life. I grew up. So a little fun fact about me, I used to break dance until I was about 12, and then I stopped. Uh, Damn, and, what can you do? What can you do? You got any, you got any uh, moves? Dude, I, 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 uh, I realized I stopped break dancing when I realized that I was, I was really good at like doing like the warm-up stuff, like getting ready to go. But when it came, oh, shit, what up, dude? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Dude, just warming up. Bro. You just warming up without me. I get this. <laughs> What's up? Don't worry about the first few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, How bro? How long you guys been going? Uh, we've been going for about like ten minutes. minutes. Yeah, about nine, ten minutes. Almost ten minutes. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, I'm out in public. Oh. Oh. Oh no! They let you out? 
Yeah, I know, right? You healed, you healed fast, bro. <laughs> I actually get days off out of here. This is crazy. How tall are you now? How tall am I? <laughs> yeah, we just finished telling everybody that you weren't here because you had a foot and a half removed from your shin so you could be normal size. So <laughs> <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> You know what I did to remove him? I sat down. He sat down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all I did. That's all I fucking did. Hey, Rob, you want to you want to throw your two cents? You want to throw your two cents in this really quick? We're just about to talk the uh, talk about the Australian breakdancing chick. Did you see her? You kidding me? That's my aunt. <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> white people have so much rhythm. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy how much rhythm white people have, yeah. right? Like in, in Australia too. Like you couldn't get one of the aborigines. <laughs> hey, there's my dog. I've What's seen up? Crocodile Dundee. They got moved. I guess my dog. When I, I saw a video of some of the other performances and then uh then you see hers and there is a definite difference yeah. in uh in the style that she was going for than what a lot of the other people did. That's all so I'm apparently say. there was like some really good break dancing in it. And I like from the other people yeah. and she did so bad that it's the only thing people are talking about. And it's no longer an Olympic sport. It's only going to last this one time around. They're pulling it. They're, they're not going to do it anymore. So wow. why? Cause of Australia. Yeah. Cause of her, cause of she her PhD it. in break dancing. Apparently she's, she's apparently she's got a PhD in break dancing. That's, that's crazy. Are they, are they thinking that's an unfair advantage? <laughs> it's like but... taking steroids. <laughs> Where'd you oh, get what, like, from? It, it's kind of like how states work here you know where like some states the learning curve is a little higher than other states <laughs> uh i think it's kind of like that with australia <laughs> you know i i like to think texas is 10 years behind the times uh but i think australia is still stuck in the 80s <laughs> i don't know man so, so Rob, Mark had brought up earlier to us, uh, if if you could think of an Olympic uh, sport that should be an Olympic sport, anything, what do you think it should be? Putting away the laundry. Laundry folding is an Olympic sport, dude. Can you get Sparking a PhD? It, it'll finally it, get done, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Just imagine them training for it. Just saving your laundry Just all year. For it. Yeah, you get your laundry put away. It's fucking great. Yeah, you win. It's a win-win. Yeah. Why, why don't they do more productive sports in the Olympics? Like, mow the lawn. <laughs> like, hey, mow this fucking lawn. I'll mow the lawn. I got one for you. What you got? I got one. Here, I got... Grocery shopping for the elderly. Oh, okay. I, I, could do that. I can see that one. That'd be good. Got Just from personal experience, bro, and the trick is you have to take the elderly person with you while you shop. Oh, no, 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 no. I got one even better. Take your wife to Target and tell her just to buy the items you need. <laughs> <laughs> the, well, the, the, the dollar yeah. amount, the least dollar amount you spend over that is is the winner. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah, right? <laughs> Make that a real. You know my wife. Sport. My wife's a unicorn. She shops like a dude, so I'm kind of lucky in that aspect. But I understand what you're saying. I could see that happening. Yeah. Every time I go, every time I take my wife you to Target, you won't believe what they had. Like, what? Like we'll go to Target. She'll be like, "Oh yeah, we need a couple of things," and you know, two hundred and fifty dollars later, I'm like, "What did we just do?" I'm like, "What's going on here?" <laughs> like, what's going on here? I'm like, I don't know why we needed this shelf right now, but okay, I'm, I'll put it together, you know? So that, is that how you find out you're working overtime? Yeah. <laughs> it's exactly, oh, you gotta go in exactly early? Exactly. That sucks. Oh, so, oh. Who's gonna help me carry, you know what? That should be the fucking sport right there, is who could carry in the most grocery bags. Oh, dude, that's Ooh. a good one, dude, because I, if, if you're taking more that's than one trip, you're doing it wrong. So you got to you got to grab them all. Well, well you got to grab them all. Unless we're talking about drugs. Oh uh, well, yeah, for sure. <laughs> if we're talking about drugs and you're taking multiple trips, yeah, you're, you're winning at life. But yeah, that's the it's the you put your arms through all the loops and then you grab them and you pick them up and then whatever's left there, you turn around, you grab them with your cheeks and you walk inside. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just curious. I'm just curious. 
how do you carry the bottled waters, too? That's what I was going to say. Is I thought that's where the yeah. bottled water goes in the cheeks. <laughs> uh, you're like, Fuck. I'm not carrying a case of bottled water in my ass. Rob, I wanted to show you this. Uh, the wife wanted to have a taste before uh, you got to town, and we polished it off. It's really good. I, I, I'm i still more of a whiskey guy, but it's really smooth. It's a lot smoother than I thought it was going to be. The... Okay. Well, just save, save, save me at least one glass. Oh, yeah, for sure, dude. I, I'm pretty sure that the, the bottle's going to stay the way it is like that. I might have another glass or two tonight, but after that, it's just going to be... Uh... It better not. It better not. <laughs> you're, just, you're going to start taking a shot of it every fucking every podcast. I guarantee it. Oh, uh, no. We forgot the shots this Oh, yeah, dude. Already. It's chaos, man. We didn't we Ooh. didn't do the cheers until like five minutes into the video. Danny's like, you know what? We forgot. He's like, <laughs> it's fail. It's the first thing on the fucking agenda. It really is. Uh, first thing on the agenda. We were all flustered, bro. Yeah, we, we dropped the ball on that one. Yeah. Oh damn. Oh, I'm sorry. I we we it. got it. We made it though. We did yeah. it. it That's happened. good. Sorry, I'm man. glad you guys survived. That's funny because it's like right when we noticed where you hopped in, it's almost like you like your ears were burning or something. Like <laughs> these guys haven't taken a shot yet. What's going on? You know? No, they haven't had their shot. Yet. <laughs> you know? um, speaking of drinks, I think that uh, signals up in the air. I think that bartending in the Olympics would be kind of dope. Ooh, you know what? Yeah. Well, but hear hear me That'd out. That'd be there's pretty two, cool. There's two <laughs> different types of bartending. There's like bartending mass amounts of people. And then there's flaring. So if you're talking yeah. about flaring, it's a different sport than trying to do mass amounts of people in a timely manner. Uh, my dog deciding. What is flaring? Yeah. Flaring's like all the stuff they but do, I like do in think... the cocktail movie, where they're like throwing the bottles around. <laughs> okay. And, um, I was about to say the dudes that put on the show. I would say so for me when I say it's when the, I yeah it's the type of show, show shit. Yeah, I would say for me when I think of like doing it as an Olympic sport, I would say it's more of the skill of the drink, and I don't know how you would judge that. I guess have people tasting them or whatever it is, but uh... oh no, 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 no! You should have a sport with how many shots you can take before you do your event. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Because I guarantee you that pole vaulter would have hit his dick every time, <laughs> right? Oh, I'm just saying, like, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you made it in, dude. I'm so glad you dropped in out of nowhere. That's <laughs> straight up, dude. Well, I was. It was gonna be a quiet I was night. Kind of like looking at the time and everything, and I'm like, I wonder if they're still doing this. I'm like, they're probably just getting started. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this. And here we are. Right. This one with the pineapple sparkling water is way better than the the ginger one that I did. Oh, this is good. Right whoa, on. Whoa, is your, is your wife in the room? Oh, this is my dog. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'll wait for the apology because she listens every week, buddy. Go ahead. <laughs> man. <laughs> you use the hard R and everything. <laughs> the hard R. <laughs> that ginger was horrible. Whoa, oh. whoa. <laughs> You oh, you're talking about the ginger word. line. I thought you said that because my dog walked in screen. <laughs> now I have to apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babe. Yeah, you do. <laughs> that's why I. That's why I stayed quiet, bro. Did I was you waiting to see if you caught it. <laughs> that's two drinks, and I'm out of control over here, dude. Fuck. Oh man, what you want? All right, we're back a little. That's too funny. Whoa. My dog's just like right in my face. <laughs> But yeah, man. Yeah, dude. I think it would. I don't know. I think um, I heard that next year or the next when Olympic Games, whatever it is, it's like every four years, right? So at the next yeah, Olympic Games, uh, video gaming is going to be an official uh, sport. Well, after this year with breakdancing, I don't know if they're going to allow it. Yeah, but they, I don't. I don't know. I, now when they oh, say yeah. that. I don't know if it's going to be like fighting games or like, I don't, I don't know exactly what, what it is that they're going to do, but um, there, I, I had saw a couple of like TikToks guess, about it. How are they going to do that though? Well, cause they already do it like, depends on where it's held. they already do like, uh, like esport gaming competitions and stuff like that. So I guess they just kind of, yeah, do that. I, I get that. I get that. So, the, okay, they're just going to do it on a bigger scale. Because to me, I'm thinking, like, how do you eliminate the cheating aspect and the bot aspect if you're going to do 
the whole entire fucking world versus one tiny place, like an actual EA Sports conference. You can control that dome itself. Yeah. Where if you're going Olympics, like, that's going to be a pain in the ass, but why not? My kid's got something to look forward to. Yeah. Hey, have you seen those dudes that uh, do the jetpack things? The fucking fly around racetracks? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. I bet you that's going to become an Olympic sport Bro. right there. One and day. I, I, you I know really, what they uh, should make an Olympic sport? Flying drones will be one. No, I think they need to go back to Nintendo's track and field pad. Yes, dude. On that. Yeah, I used to have one of those, the track and field pads. Those are badass. Yeah, and then you'd always cheat, and, and you know, you wouldn't use your feet. You would lay down on your stomach, and you would hit the pads like this with your hands. This, this looks really bad doing this, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Just didn't run fast enough. Yeah. No, I. That's I horrible. Know. Hey, do that, do that, do that, do that as, as I started doing it, I realized what I was doing, and I'm like, that doesn't look right at all, dude. <laughs> no. Like they're going to make Dance Dance Revolution a sport. I can get on board with that one, dude. Uh, let's let's, 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 let's do video games that would make good uh, good sports in the Olympics. Uh, I think a Fortnite, a Fortnite competition on the Olympics, like winning a gold medal in Fortnite would be kind of dope, right? <clears throat> yeah. I think so. I'm all about it. Uh, Rob, Fortnite. On Fortnite news, did you hear the new thing? What's that? Um, they announced it D two three. He didn't watch it apparently because he'd be flipping out right now. Okay, once he okay, heard yeah. Well, my stepmom works for Disney and she had to work the D two three events, okay. and she mentioned some of the new releases and stuff they talked about. And there's going to be an update coming out that Disney is going to release all the characters for you to be able to use in Fortnite now. Just so not just Star Wars. You could you could literally be like Danny said, fucking Cinderella with a shotgun. <laughs> That's dope like as fuck. Any character. <laughs> Shooting people with Sorry, Cinderella. I, I know how you love Fortnite, bro. You could be any Disney character you wanted to coming up pretty soon. Yeah. They're just, they don't give a shit about the intellectual property more. They're just well, no. money, so money, So what money, they're doing, you know? And, and so what I've realized is they've teamed up with Lego. So you got Lego mm -hmm. Fortnite, which is a game mode that you can play. But what they're doing is, is any character that was done by Lego is now going to be done on Fortnite. Oh, Okay. Yeah. So essentially, you're gonna have your Harry Potters eventually. You're gonna have all your Star okay. Wars, all your Marvels. They're all gonna be covered. The problem yeah. is, is, Fortnite uses two payment methods. They're either gonna do one, you gotta pay for the V Bucks to buy it with the V Bucks, or you just pay straight cash for it. And a lot of their packs cost twenty five, thirty bucks. Yeah. But you get mm -hmm. three characters and back blings and all this other thing. Like right now, they got a. Uh, oh, I'm nerding out right now. Um, with with the Deadpool Wolverine movie, they re-release Deadpool and Wolverine, but looking more like the comic books. So where they're uh, they're cell shaded. Oh, that's as cool. To looking textured, yeah. so they look like the comic book versions that you would see in the comic book. I'm gonna have to give Fortnite a real a real try again, man. Because I, I always I love seeing yeah, all the new skins. Yeah, you have to get past so. the fucking intro, pal. Yeah, like... I couldn't get past, dude. <laughs> nothing has ever made me feel older than a fucking Fortnite start screen, dude. I was like, I just want to start a fucking match. I can't get through this fucking thing. <laughs> I just turned that bitch off. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm telling you this: the next season, the next season, Doctor Doom. Oh yeah, so they're dude. They're introducing. They're introducing more of the villains, doing more like Mysterio, Doctor Doom, Sabretooth. And then they just released an X-Men pack with Colossus, Cyclops, and Jubilee. Oh, that's awesome. Ooh. Yeah. So, and then everyone else has pretty much already been released. I'm waiting on like a Beast. You know, if Beast got released, woo! <clears throat> now, when they do these, these special skins... Um, is it just strictly a cosmetic thing, or do you get, like, special attacks with them, strictly too? Strictly cosmetic. Really? Uh, it's just cosmetic. Well, no, hear me out. Some of them do have some special features, like Mystique. You can turn into the last person you killed. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's kind of cool. 
So like you can you can turn into that person and look like their teammate and fool them into like thirty seconds that you're the teammate and then you flip back to being mystique. Yeah, see that's cool. Like so so what I was asking is kind of like, say you're Spider Man, you can't like web sling around or anything like that or. Uh... No, well they do they do have like web slingers as a weapon. So like. When Spider Man's a big thing, you go around, you collect the web slinger, and you can use the web slinger to get from place to place. Oh, that's cool. Swing from tree yeah. to tree, building to building. Yeah. Uh, but like Doctor Doom is coming out, so they're going to have like his Doom Blast, almost like a Dragon Ball Z blast. Yeah. Um, you're going to have uh, some other special abilities that come out with different characters. Uh, right now, they got some power gloves, like you can uppercut and fly into fucking space and come down on your enemy and punch him from above nice that's what's up yeah man i gotta i gotta give it another uh, shot because i always see people having so much fun on that game and i'm like i i i, I just gotta give it a shot but speaking of skins i saw this video or it was a it was like a picture of um the ray mysterio because so they wwe released like three new skins for uh call of duty right and mm-hmm. one of them was Rey Mysterio, and somebody posted a picture. Looking all dramatic. Posted a picture of Rey Mysterio all bloody on the floor because like, they just shot him. And he's like, why is this uh, WWE skin so traumatizing? I'm so sorry, Rey. <laughs> he's like, I'm sorry, Rey. <laughs> it's just Rey Mysterio just blasted up right there on the floor. He's just like, oh, man, that's so funny. Yeah. yeah. Lot of, lot hey, Rob. Stuff. Rob. What's up? D23, right? Did you hear about any of this stuff? I was gonna get yeah, I was gonna say let's um, get into saw, that because that's cool. I, I saw so, a couple things. Why is it called the okay. 23? That was last year. Shouldn't it be D twenty? I believe it's because Disney f- was founded in nineteen twenty. And uh, oh, okay, or it's the first when he opened the studio or something. It's studio. Yeah, it's Studio Twenty Three, and there's a lot of Twenty Three references in all of those like Pixar movies and stuff like that. There's the number Twenty Three is hidden everywhere, right. kind of like the hidden Mickey's in Disneyland. It's it's yeah. they're all over the I think the it's movies. because 1923. Yeah. So, anyways, they announced Rob that they're doing a new Tron movie. Ooh, nice segue, buddy. Yeah. I like that. Go ahead. So, did you did you hear anything about this at all? I didn't hear that one. I heard the okay. uh, I heard the live action Lilo and Stitch. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's one of them as well. Yeah, there's a few. There was a few kind of really cool ones. I think they're going to do a live action like Snow White too. But so, guess who's gonna do the soundtrack for the Tron movie? Who's <laughs> What's up, Jeremy? Hello. Hello. California. How are things going over there with your talented self? What's up? It's hot. <laughs> we just wanted to say hello. Hi. Thank you for sharing. What's happening? We miss you. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you too. I am in public. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, did you hear who's doing the soundtrack for Tron? Do what? Did you hear who's doing the soundtrack? Who, guess who's doing the soundtrack for the Tron movie? Is it Trap? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Thank God it's not. Oh, no? No. Oh, darn. Okay. Uh, uh, Nine Inch Nails. What? <laughs> he said what? Trap? Why? Trap? All right, why is he doing that? Because Daft Punk is only Daft? <laughs> Well, I'm here. That's what they announced. Yeah. I think they're that that's no, their... They're no longer punk. They're just deaf. Hmm. So Nine Inch Nails isn't really... Isn't nails anymore? They're just Nine they're just Inch? They're just Nine Inch? <laughs> well, I, mean, they just, you know, I wouldn't be mad at that either. They're just, they're just regular <laughs> size nails. Trimmed nails. That's all they are. <laughs> just regular old nails now. <laughs> oh, shit. They're in a Disney movie, so they're just... They're just nails. That's awesome, dude. French tip and snails. Coming, uh, oh, all right. talking about the D twenty three expo. I am super excited for the Incredibles three. The Incredibles uh, franchise is one of my favorite franchises from the Pixar's. Um, also, Toy Story five looks really cool. I like that they're gonna they're gonna have to deal with iPad kids. I thought that thing was done. Wasn't that what? done? Didn't we get done with that? With yeah, they did. Toy Story didn't like didn't already. <laughs> Didn't the kid grow up, and then we went on to a different kid? Yeah, we're aware I forget now. the little girl's name, uh, but yeah, so Bonnie. Bonnie, there we go, thank you. Bonnie. Yeah, dude, there's a whole generation of kids that don't know that Andy used to be on the bottom of, of Woody's boot, because now the, the, the Andy's right. that they sell at the store, that says Bonnie on his foot, not Andy. 
It's crazy. Like, <laughs> but hear me out. Do we expect these toys to change as she gets older too? Right? I don't know. Yeah, that's a good question. Well, here's that's this a... one, friend. Oh, no, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. You did not go there. Stop playing with toys pretty young. You know what I'm saying? They switch over before the dudes do. And, like, he's like, you want to bring toys into the bedroom? And he's like, fuck yeah. And he brings all his wrestlers in. And it's like, what the fuck is this? Oh, my God, dude. Just saying. This is still in the packaging phase. So We've been using this toy. I'm gonna, I'm, you can't make me laugh. It makes me sweat. Oh, my God. I'm going to change this subject really quickly. So we're going to... Okay. All right. Let's see if we can prefer it. I got this. I like that they're doing like the the whole thing because you know normally it's always like some new toy that Woody's got to overcome like because I guess he's self conscious <laughs> about it. So, I did not do a very good job of saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and this week that didn't work, dude. You walked into that. Fuck. One. <laughs> Try this one. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> But the the screenshot that they showed was like all of them watching Bonnie. I guess she's like underneath, uh, like she's in her oh on her bed. Not any it's not with it. Not dude, it doesn't better. get any better because it's she's literally sitting underneath the sheet watching an iPad. So like she's they're they're battling the <laughs> iPad kids. Right. But uh, you know what she's already watching. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. She's watching the Notebook with the fucking. <laughs> Yeah, at least it's not like <laughs> Toy Story Five. Andy discovers the hub or whatever, you know, like fucking. <laughs> oh shit! I'm sure that exists somewhere. I'm sure it does. Oh man! Yeah, uh, Danny, I'm super excited for Mandalorian and Grogu. They announced that as well too. Yeah. So that'll be dope. Yes. Wait, wait, what? The man, what? the Mandalorian and Grogu. That's what they're going to call yeah. the the that next. That's what they're going to call the next season. Well, it's been Mandalorian and Grogu the whole fucking time. Well, it's been just. Oh. It's been just no, the Mandalorian. It's been Mandalorian. Mandalorian. But now... Yeah, but now he's on the title. He's on the yeah. Marte now. Now he's getting a billing. Yeah, he's getting the big money now. Danny, you know? do you consider the Book of Boba a season of the Mandalorian or a, a, a thing on its own? Because I kind of consider it a season well, of Mandalorian. I, don't know I thought at some point, and, and I could be totally wrong, but I thought at some point I heard something about some of those seasons, all the, some of the series are going to be a part of a movie. Yeah. So I don't know what what is happening with that and what's going to fall into that, but I thought Book of Boba Fett fell into that whole yeah. thing. But then I guess that would mean Ahsoka and some of the other ones. Dude, as well. that Ahsoka series was badass too, dude. That I I like yeah, That's I like that one a lot. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh when it comes to series and like the MC, like tra- from Disney going from Star Wars to the MCU, Apparently, they fired a bunch of people once with the success of Wolverine and Deadpool to try to save the franchise. Like, they fired a bunch of writers and stuff. Um, Deadpool just hit – they just broke a billion dollars, dude. That's the first time that that's happened since uh, since Spider-Man No Way Home, I think, was the last Marvel movie to do it. And I believe if it's Woo! not – if it's not – to make a name for myself, yeah. Yeah, dude. If it's not – if it hasn't happened yet, it is very close to being like the – the number one R-rated movie of all time, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Also, also, a uh, Skeleton Crew is supposed to come out sometime, or they're working on it, or I don't know where they're at. Really? But I know they released some more footage, some more trailers of it and stuff. I gotta look into mm-hmm. that. But yeah. But that's supposed. To, that should be a good one there. I don't know. Skeleton Wait, Crew. Skeleton. All I know Skeleton is that so, somebody that? somebody moved right now, and their chair made it sound like they farted, and that's hilarious. Sounded like they farted. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't move. I didn't move. I probably farted. I probably farted. I probably farted. I probably farted. I, probably farted. I don't know. I should go check. I don't know. Out. Yeah. Uh, dude, this fucking episode has flown by, man. Rob, is there any any last things you want to talk about here before we start closing up this episode? Oh, I think he's gone. Oh, no, there he uh, is. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> he just left. He's like, fuck this. Okay, wait, sorry, sorry. I'm back. I'm he's back. all, I'm uh, out of here. Uh, <laughs> fuck you guys. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, one, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart 
for the response we are getting from Little Karma. People are loving it, liking it. I'm glad you guys are listening to it. I, I, this is one of my favorite bangers to just throw on. Uh, I'm glad it's finally out there. Um, but we got more. Oh, yeah. we got more for you. Uh, September 13th, it's a Friday, Friday the 13th. We got another banger dropping for you guys. Um, and we're putting some surprises together for you and trying to put some more shit together. And hopefully if this works out, we might do some more shit for some of the previous songs, but, uh, same is dropping September 13th. And hopefully you guys click the pre-save on that one as well. Yeah. And like it and subscribe. So you can get it. Uh, if you are on the free account of Spotify, they don't fucking like you. Just pay the eleven ninety nine a month. <laughs> then you can get the pre-save feature. Um, if we send you the link to go listen to more of The Last Days of War, you will actually hear The Last Days of War when we send you the link, as opposed to, <laughs> hey, here's a band that sounds like them. Yeah. Because um, that's that's the best representation of a band, is another band that sounds like them. Right. Oh, yeah, this, this band. <laughs> I'm just glad that the I'm glad that the algorithm is finally playing us with bands that actually kind of sound like us. So like, because remember when it first started, well, Danny, it was wrong, like just like right? random like Spanish rap or whatever the fuck was going on. I was like, what the hell's yeah, going you're on? Like, what is this? And they said they say it takes a while, and yeah, it took a few, it took a yeah. bit, you know, but it's there. You know, it finally got there. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I just I want to ask our followers and listeners: Did you find another band that sounds like us? while listening to our playlist or our mix, hey, this is The Last Days of War, and they play another song. If you liked another band's song, please tell us that band and that song in the comments. So we can hit them up for the royalties. Uh, let us know. Because... <laughs> because... <laughs> Cause we want to cut it I mean, at you. I'm, I'm, always in, <laughs> I'm always in for listening to some new music and hearing new bands. And when The Last Days of War playlist plays out for me, I end up hearing a bunch of different stuff. Mm. Uh, some of the stuff sounds like Into the Stars, so I end up just skipping that too. But um, <laughs> if, if it's a good song, I, hey, listen, I got to save up my saves because Into the Stars, I'll tell you this, son of a bitch. This son of a bitch hit me three times in a fucking row. It hit me with the acoustic, it hit me with the original, then it hit me with the cover out or the fucking re release album. I'm like, son of a bitch, are you, you're skipping my skips? Oh, you want to hear this song again? No, oh. I don't. I don't. I really don't. But now's a good time to let you know that Danny and I just finished the spoken word part uh, cover of it. So <laughs> that'll be out soon. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Rob, it'd be, dude, it like would be Chapman funny as shit, it. Rob. It'd be funny as shit, Rob, if, like, when, when we, because uh, this isn't going to be the first time we play it live is this year. Uh, this, right when the song starts, you're just like, no, oh, no, oh, turn that shit off. Next song. <laughs> like, go to the next one. <laughs> skip, skip, skip. Danny, I swear to God. Put that in the fucking set. Have the song start up, and then before the drums even kick in, just go, nope. <laughs> skip it. Just go to the next <laughs> one. Uh, Wait, are we really doing this shit? There's no, no. Uh, I'll throw a fit. I'll throw a fit on stage. That's fucking hilarious. Me crying like a little baby, <laughs> like I'm in NSYNC or something. <laughs> Danny, do you got any last anything you want to talk about real quick before we take off from here? Nope, you good, I'm Josh? Good. Same. All good. Same. Ah, same. same. September 13th, guys. Same. I like that. 13th. There you go. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, this has been The Last Days of Warcast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. You guys, thank you so much for listening. Uh, please keep sharing all of our content. It helps us tremendously. Subscribe to our Patreon. Check out the links in the bio. We'll catch you guys next week.